Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Table Talk. I'm your host, Jake Combs. And tonight, we are taking a look at Rift War, uh, specifically Knockman Rift War, rather. So this is going to be a supplement for, uh, you know, basically setting up war zones on Knockman involving uh, specifically Rift War. Um, my prediction is that it's going to be heavily involving uh, Chaos, mostly because definitely see some chaos on the cover um, but also going to be involving some Eldar or um, Eldari and um, you know mostly based on the um, the Kill Team Knockman set as well as the Rift War set um, so this kind of feels like what was in the Rift War set the lore and stuff from that is mostly going to be filled up what's in here as well as some extra stuff with special rules for other units so we're going to go ahead and open this up and take a look now as always you know if you are using a knife make sure you are cutting away from yourself so that way you don't get hurt and uh, at the time of this video's release this book will be available for pre-order for you to check out So specifically, like right off the bat, we go into the the war for Knockmend. Well, it says war for Vigilus, rather. Um, so that's one of the planets um, in the Imperium Nihilus region. And so specifically, there's this Knockmend gauntlet. Um, I'm seeing Adaptus Mechanicus on here. I'm seeing... Looks like Space Marines. We have Eldari. Uh, I believe that's Necrons. Uh, I do see Sisters of Battle. Uh, In Inquisition. Definitely some Chaos as well. Uh, then we go into the Derivar system. But, I mean, most of this is lore going up into page 34, which is where we start the campaign rules. Now, I love the spread here, just the detail on the minis, the, the, the background, the scene itself. I mean, this looks like it's an epic fight. And, you know, it would be great if there was a, a, a battle report on this fight, for sure. Um, and so we have a War of Desperation campaign. Let's see. <sighs> so a War of Desperation campaign allows a group of players to get together, form alliances, and play a series of games. It's split in phases during which players will fight it out in three key war zones of the Derivar conflict. Each battle will be fought with unique rules instead and inspired by the location that's taken place in. Um, so let's get in here and take a look. So one of them is on the surface of Derivar. Um, So it looks like most of these are going to be, you know, Imperial versus Chaos. Um, so there's a zone tracker to kind of determine uh, if anyone gets any buffs during the game. Same with uh, Mandeville Point of Derivar and the Gracilliad Narrow. Now, so I really enjoy that art uh, and I'm not certain if that's supposed to be Abaddon uh, definitely looks like it is um, but without as much um, you know ornamentation on him than usual 
Uh, then we have a legendary mission, Strike Force Seek the Light. Um, so specifically again, Chaos versus Imperials. So this one, Chaos is the Defender and Imperial Alliance is the Attacker. And so the attacker actually starts in the center of the battlefield with the defenders on both sides. So that's an interesting uh, way to start it. Um, can be dividing your forces going each direction. Uh, so I kind of feel like the defenders are definitely gonna have the upper hand to start. Um, and then we go into uh, Strike Force Scorched, star Scorched Stars and then Last Stand. And we have some crusade re relics, and then we go into the rules section. Um, so featuring another Chaos Knight. Now, from what I understand, from what I've read before, is that this book is going to have some special stuff that's exclusive to the new Chaos Knights. Um, but in here we have uh, Castellans of the Rift, Warden Raiders, Army of Renowned, Warp Meld Pact, Arcane Rituals, Chaos Undivided Crusader Rules, and Army of Renown, Coteries of Amonculi. Probably butchered some of those names. So here's the Codex Supplement for Castellans of the Rift, which looks like a uh, Space Marine Squad including stratagems for them. Uh, the Warden Raiders. Which is another uh, Space Marine Strike Force. And then here's some eye candy for you. Um, and it looks like they're actually featuring one of the new war dogs. I believe that's what they were called from the uh, the new Chaos Knights box. And then we have the Warp Meld Pact, which is going to be some Thousand Suns warbands. Some Arcane Rituals to use, which is for the, the Thousand Suns. And then Army of Chaos Undivided Crusade Rules. Um, in the picture, now with this being undivided, the picture is kind of a little misleading because it does show some plague bears and nurglings. Uh, so it's very Nurgle centric there. Um, but these are rules for an undivided crusade army. And then there are specific blessings that you can get from the different chaos gods. Like for Zinch, uh, Living Flames, each time a melee attack is made against this model of an unmodified hit roll of one, after the attacker's unit has finished making its attacks, that unit suffers one mortal wound. And then, looks like we got some Drukari in here as well. And in the pictures, it looks like they're fighting some orcs. So I'm guessing those are the Coteries of the Hemunculi. And then that leads us into the glossary. Now for the stratagems, we're just gonna look at uh, one of these right here, Venoms of Agonizing Atrophy, which is one command point. Use the stratagem in any phase when an enemy model, excluding vehicle models, loses one or more wounds as a result of an attack made with a poisoned weapon. by coteries of the homunculi model from your army until the end of the next turn. Subtract one from the attacks characteristic of models in that enemy unit. Uh, so definitely a way to uh, you know scale back your opponent's attacks. Uh, definitely some cool stuff in here. I love what they're doing with all these war zones and basically expanding on the universe itself, giving you some new war zones to actually play in. Uh, uh, pun definitely intended there as far as uh, what I was referring to is more making it more of a unique tabletop experience. Uh, 
but you know with these war zones it allows you to to tell a predefined narrative instead of just you know you have your army and you kind of come up with your own lore as you play and you know some people name specific units when they survive time after time and you know earn titles and stuff like that that you know are really only more for their own benefit and so you know doing something like this it gives you you know that that still sense of you know an overall story and you know belonging to that and helping shape it and so I, I love what they're doing with these and I definitely think that these books are worth picking up you know even if you're not you know you're gonna be using any of the armies of renown but just for the the lore of the the war in those areas the the, the location the special uh, missions for that area as well you know definitely brings you into the story and uh, you know helps build from there so definitely worth picking up uh, I do highly recommend doing that um, now flipping through it other than the pictures I didn't really see anything that stood out for the Chaos Knights um, so I don't know if if I, I misread what I had read before or if uh, maybe there's gonna be another Nachman uh, supplement that's going to be coming out that's specifically to help tie those in um, and continue from that so not really sure but with rift war you know not saying you know part one or you know season one or something like that you know it tells me that the next book if it is still knockman it's not going to be rift war it's going to be something else entirely um, but that's just me speculating i haven't heard for sure either way um, but you know again thank you guys for watching as always I do really appreciate all of your support um, and you know should be very soon that we have uh, something new for you guys as well uh, to check out um, definitely have some great you know, some fun things planned out in the near future so you know stay tuned for that and again thank you as always for watching and you guys have yourselves a great night thank you